Today we are here to talk about osteoporosis. This is an epidemic nowadays. There's actually 44 million Americans with a diagnosis of osteoporosis. We have all these medications that are supposed to help, Fosamax and all these. People are taking calcium like they're friggin', you know, gonna create a new body, like they're M&Ms, like people are just down in calcium, and that's a whole nother topic in itself, because most people don't even know where this calcium come from, and most of it's not even true calcium, most of it's just junk, mostly it's calcium bicarbonate. So... It's an epidemic, and most people that come into our clinic, and this is more common in women, have osteoporosis. But we're starting to see this in men as well. It's becoming more and more prevalent in men. So let's talk about, or let me talk to you about the three reasons why I think people get osteoporosis. Okay? Of course, I'm going to get evidence based people emailing me. What about the research? Calcium this, calcium that. Well, my question for you is if calcium's the answer, why do 44 million Americans still have osteoporosis? It's not the answer, right? Every female I talk to is on calcium. They think it's a wonder drug. My question for you is, is it working for you? No, it's not. So, my first thing is, most Americans through stress, external stress, internal stress, we can go on and on about the different stresses, right? Parasites, fungus, physiological problems, could be food, lifestyle, financial problems, watching the news, breaking up with your boyfriend, uh, whatever. It could be anything external, internal. All these stresses over time affect your adrenal glands, which actually sit the top corner of your kidney. Well, those are your, your stress glands. They help regulate and prepare the body for stress, mobilize energy, things like that, increase blood pressure, heart rate, blood flow, regulate blood sugar. But at the same time, we need to bounce back from that, bounce back to homeostasis, like I talked about in my YouTube clip about the five stages of the disease. So if we don't regulate our external stresses or regulate our internal stresses, like we have fungal infections, hormone imbalances, parasites, on and on, well, the problem is we keep going and our body has to keep producing this cortisol to fight inflammation, mobilize energy, regulate blood flow, help us fight stress. Without this, we would die. So what happens over time is, I'll simplify it, the body keeps pushing out cortisol, right? doesn't matter what stage of adrenal fatigue you're in, but typically one or two to be more precise. If the body keeps putting out cortisol, it's, hy it's hyper secreting cortisol. Well, the funny thing about cortisol is it actually demineralizes bone. So it actually blocks calcium absorption in the body and it demineralizes bone. So we have all these people under chronic stress. We need to figure out A, where the stress is coming from. That's the most important. Is it external, internal, is it both? How many, what is it? Is it a parasite? But also, we have to learn what's going on in the adrenal glands. That's why we do adrenal testing, saliva testing at our, at our facility. So if you're interested, give us a call. But finding out, maybe do they have osteoporosis, but what's the root? Maybe it's adrenal fatigue, but what's the root from that? What, where's it coming from? So the first reason is high cortisol levels, adrenal problems, external stress. It demineralizes bones, can easily cause loss of calcium absorption, loss of... Uh, bone, which causes osteoporosis, and calcium is not going to fix that because that's not the root of the issue. You're not calcium deficient. There's a stress that's causing adrenal gland problems that's causing a bone problem. The second is sugar, and this is why I think most men are getting osteoporosis nowadays. And it's because of most milk nowadays is just white sugar water. The juice is a sugar water. We have energy drinks that have like 20, you know, plus tables, teaspoons of sugar in them. We got Coke, Pepsi, on and on and on. Sugar's in everything that you can pretty much think of. That's not you know, that doesn't have life in it. The problem is it's very acidic, so the body has to actually make it more alkalinic. And what it does is pulls minerals and it pulls um, alkalinic substances from the bones and from the teeth, right, to actually get rid of the acidity in the body. So that can easily cause osteoporosis, cause weakening the bone. It can actually demineralize the bones. So that's another, just in a simplified sense, why I feel more men are getting osteoporosis nowadays because of the increased sugar intake, right? External stress causing an internal stress that can easily cause an adrenal gland problem. So now you have, you're becoming more acidic. You have to become alkalinic. So you pull minerals out of the bones, but now you're causing an adrenal gland stress, which demineralizes bones. You're getting hit with both. The third is hormone imbalances. And I think this is one of the major ones. Well, 
Progesterone stimulates what's called osteoblasts in the body. These rebuild bone. Estrogen actually stimulates osteoclast. This is breaking down of the bone so, you're, so your osteoblasts can rebuild new ones. So when we're born, we walk, we, our bones remodel along the lines of stress. That's why in your femur, which is your leg bone, the lines of stress will be vertical instead of horizontal because the line of stress is coming up from the ground. That's how our bones remodel. So when we need to remodel them, the osteoblasts and osteoclasts work together to produce new bone, make them bigger, stronger. Well, most women nowadays, if you watch some of my YouTube clips, are estrogen dominant. What that means is they have low progesterone levels and either high, normal, or low estrogen levels in relation to progesterone. So you can watch our YouTube clip on endometriosis and I talk about estrogen and progesterone, the different side effects. We do lab testing for that as well at our clinic, saliva testing, to figure out what are, what are females' ratios, estrogen, typically estradiol, estrone, melatonin, testosterone, progesterone, and their cortisol levels, and we correlate it. Because you can't have a hormone problem without an adrenal gland problem. They go hand in hand because they're on the same metabolic pathway and hormonal pathway. So you see, most women that are estrogen dominant, that are not producing enough osteoblasts, they're overproducing osteoclasts, so they're constantly breaking down bone, and they can't remodel because there's not enough progesterone. So it's the third reason why I feel most women are getting osteoporosis. So we have adrenal problems, we have increased sugar intake, and we have hormonal problems. These all go together. You can't have one without the other. So we could say there's one major in issue. It's people ignoring their external stresses and their internal stresses, not really taking care of their body, which is a temple. So if you're not eating the right foods, if you're not leading the right lifestyle, you're going to have hypersecretion of cortisol, right? And if you're eating sugar, you're going to have hypersecretion of cortisol easily. And if you lead an unhealthy lifestyle because the body's stressed, your body has to overproduce cortisol to help fight stress. It's not thinking about having sex. So it pulls its hormones from the sex pathway to overproduce cortisol. So that's how a lot of women end up with a hormone imbalance in a simplified sense. So those are my three reasons, reasons why most women have osteoporosis today. How do you fix that? It's assessing people, figuring out what's going on in their life. We do tons of nutrition and lifestyle assessments. That's the foundation for who you are. We figure out what's going to work for you based off our assessments so we can educate you step by step. We also, if needed, can do an adrenal lab and a hormone lab to see what's going on internally. So we can give you the right supplements and the right bioidentical hormones to help balance those. But those alone aren't going to help you. We need to make sure your nutrition and lifestyle, which is the root that's creating, creating an internal problem. So if you're working with someone that's just giving you supplements and doing labs, they're missing the whole thing. They're treating part of the person. They're not rewinding it enough to get back to the root cause. The root cause is always internal or external stressors. So hopefully you've enjoyed um, my YouTube clip on why I think people have osteoporosis. Some of the things that you can do, watch our YouTube clips. Go to our website at eastwesthealing.com. There's tons of articles, audio programs. And if you want to set up a free consultation to see possibly maybe pick our brain, but see how our program can work for you if you have osteoporosis, feel free to give us a call. And um, stay tuned for some more great YouTube, YouTube clips. I'm really enjoying doing these, and I'll check you guys later.